Hey everybody, Mr. Nickel here. We are going to talk about the Bronson Lowry definition of assets and bases here. I just had a buddy walk in and he told me to call this the LeBronsted Lowry, which is hilarious. Uh, so the Arrhenius definition is what we were used to. The Arrhenius definition focused around these two parts of compounds. We said if something started with a hydrogen, so if we had like HCl, we would say that that is an acid. And we know that this would be hydrochloric acid. And then conversely, we said if we had a hydroxide in some sort of compound, that it was a base. And that was the Arrhenius definition. And it served for a little while. But when we started discovering compounds like ammonia, NH3, which clearly does not have an hydroxide, it's a base. And so it breaks this Arrhenius rule. It no longer allows this Arrhenius rule to work. And so what was created was the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. And it focused all on hydrogen. It totally neglected the presence of um, hydroxide and instead just focused on hydrogen. And we called that a proton. And so what we said is that acids will donate, acids will donate a proton and the other rule that we said is that bases will accept a proton. And so what we're going to see is that when we put an acid and a base together in some sort of reaction, the acid will give its hydrogen over to the base. And when we move over to the product side, we'll see that that hydrogen has moved. One of the common demonstrative reactions is this one here, that we have some sort of acid, which has a hydrogen on it, some sort of base. It doesn't have to have hydroxide, but it may. And then those are going to react to produce. Um, those are going to react to produce our conjugate acid and our conjugate base. And so our conjugate acid will be like this and our conjugate base will be like this. And typically we'd see this have a negative charge and this would gain a positive charge. The idea is that we're moving these protons around. So this is the base. And then what happens is on the other side, we give them the term conjugate. And then I'll write the shorthand for the second one, which is just C-O-N-J. What was formerly an acid is now a conjugate base. And what was formerly a base is now a conjugate acid. And the idea is because this is an equilibrium reaction, the idea is that if we looked at this reaction in the reverse direction, the A minus would be the base and the HB plus would be the acid. And so we give those the term conjugate base and conjugate acids. And that's the basis of the Bronson-Lowry definition.